Hello, boys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between. My name is Runchy Ram. My name is Pandas. My name is Sly, and welcome to Booty Salad. Oh, okay. All right, well, this is the second attempt. Normally, we do this kind of stuff live, but today was the day of a big football game, so there's some people downstairs, and they're all on their phones and stuff, watching football and playing with their phones and junk, so my internet hasn't been great today, so this is the second attempt. Yeah, this is the second attempt, and I'm really disheartened, but I'm not going to try and convey that through my uh, speech today. I'm going to try and get my 100% Even though 100% you just flat best. out told everyone. Yes, I know, but... I want them to know so that when this turns out to be the best podcast ever, they're going to know I had to pull through it, and I did it. All right, well, okay. let's start off real quick with the boring shit that nobody gives a shit about, uh, the Patreon plug. Uh, if you guys donate to the Patreon, uh, $30 a month will be able to get me a SoundCloud space and a website, which means that you guys will be able to listen to the audio-only versions, no gameplay, so you don't have to hear gunshots and shit like that in the background. You get less content for your money. Uh, you get less content for more money. The AAA yeah. developer way. Oh, that's great. Leads into our first segment. <laughs> and that, yeah, that leads right into our first segment. But anyway, if you guys donate money to the Patreon, I can afford to do more things with the guys here, and we can do more shows. I've already had a few ideas for a couple of shows, but because of how YouTube revenue works... I can't actually afford to do a lot of these things for the amount of time that's invested in them. So if you guys want to see more of us and you want to see more of the show, then make sure you click that Patreon link or click the PayPal link and uh, send us uh, your unwanted cash. And with all the money you donate, it'll send us to Tokyo, Japan, where we'll do a live (laughs) recording. And you'll never hear us ever again. (laughs) You'll never hear from (laughs) us ever again. Oh, man, that's great. Uh, That'd be some crazy shit, though. Oh man. Okay, so Why first segment. We chose Tokyo. Yeah, to- dude. Is. Everyone goes to Tokyo. Tokyo's awesome. Anyway, first segment. Um, this is regarding Deus Ex: Mankind Divided. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Deus Ex franchise, don't worry. This has nothing to do with the game itself. More to do with the pre-order culture that surrounds it. And it's just a complete clusterfuck at the moment. So, there are, there is this thing that they've coined, and it's called Augment Your Pre-Order. Which is a fancy way of saying, give us more money for more shit. More pointless cosmetic shit that we could have easily added to the game, but we decided to cut out for no apparent reason. More than for the, uh, we cut out just so we can make more money off you. And this is like crowdfunding in the sense that you're giving somebody money for an unfinished product because you want to see the product come to fruition. You want to well, see this product Well, it's also like exist. it in that way because uh, the uh, way the pre-order system works for this is that uh, the more people that pre-order, the more tiers that are unlocked for more content. And so it's exactly like a Kickstarter. And that's the thing that these are triple. This is a triple A developer. They have no need for a Kickstarter or anything like that. But they're using that as a form of incentive to get money from you guys. And if they do this, other companies are going to do this because it's Square Enix. Square Enix isn't even that popular of a triple A develop, uh, developer in comparison to a lot of the others. But if they get away with it, then that means there's room in the triple A development uh, field that more companies can do this. And if more companies do it, the people get screwed over. You, you, and if, this, if this happens, you're going to see big companies like EA, Bungie, Activision, not Activision, the publisher, but other, other developers, you're going to see them pull shit like this to where you have content locked behind fucking Red Bull or content locked locked behind a $60 paywall. You it could pre- even you end up being the pre-order, it, the pre-order of the game. It could end up being even that they make it so that you can't access multiplayer of games unless you pre-order it. And for a lot of us, people uh, for a lot of us, I know we only buy we mostly buy stuff that has multiplayer in it so that we can hang out together. But yep. they could and if you think that they won't lock multiplayer behind a paywall, you must not remember the online passes by EA. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, that was the thing. Oh, my God. Yeah, Would you, you like to see those come back? Uh, no, that was terrible. 
that was I think that was meant to like stop it was people to make from... money it was to make money off of pre-owned games too because GameStop doesn't give money back to the developers for games that are pre-owned exactly it was really stupid this is like the same shit when Xbox was like any game put into your system will forever be locked to that system and you can't which is ever... the same as Steam which is totally okay I but, I would but prefer this that is, actually these are consoles though this isn't a PC. But no, this is bullshit. Don't augment your pre-order. Don't augment shit. Augment is a fancy word for giving them more money, and you shouldn't be giving them money anyway because pre-order you're bonuses, not missing out. You're not missing out on any of this stuff. All this stuff is stuff that they're willing to just throw away. These things oh, are all things that you could just pirate anyway, and most of you probably will, like the soundtrack or the concept art. If you guys actually give a crap about that, you'd already be looking it up. Well, there is the extra in-game mission well, that they're, you're going to miss out on if you don't pre-order. Or if the yeah, that mission is people... going to take the sum total of 15 minutes to finish like every other pre-order incentive. It's, don't it's really pre-order. Stupid. You're screwing the rest of us over when you do it. Because if they get away with it, like we said already, a bunch of other, other companies, companies are, are going too. to attempt it and probably succeed. So that's what all I'm gonna say shit. about that's all I'm gonna say about Deus Ex fucking universe. Oh god. Okay. So what's the next little piece of news uh, there, Josh? Uh, the Xbox One is getting an update to make it look more like the uh, Windows 10. It's just gonna be a uh, UI overhaul so that it's easier to navigate the pages and get to the content that you care about. Just uh, more of Xbox is doing their best that they can to make to show you that the console is not just a game hub, but a media and social hub as well. Because that's what gaming is, is gaming is something social and, you know, just something to do when you're bored or high. <laughs> it's... What are, like, two groups of people you just chose there from? Bored <laughs> and high. <laughs> this relates to me in some sort of way. Yeah, I mean, that's why you don't um... talk too much, because you're always high. The thing about the uh, update is, is it's going to be limited only to pre- preview exposed. members, which is normal, which means you, uh, the rest of you guys will get it a month later. But the thing is, is it's only, it's given out to people who have given the most feedback on preview dashboard before, and then it'll trickle down to the people who haven't given as much feedback. So they're making sure to give it to the people that actually use the preview dashboard the way it's intended to be used, and then it's given to the rest of the people. That's the way it should be, like, you shouldn't be getting all the rewards for, like, the reason I have it is because someone recommended me, and the reason you guys have it, I'm pretty sure, is because I recommended you. Yeah. And if you don't actually do what the point of the fucking program is... I do every one that's relevant to me. Every survey that's relevant. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to say you two in particular, Mm -hmm. even though it might seem like I was, I'm just saying... In general, people who have this program and reap the rewards from it for not actually providing the feedback, well, you know, that's just, it takes five seconds. Like, it doesn't take too long, and it, it helps. It's a little bit of information that they can use. But, you know, do your fucking little five minute surveys about your Xbox, and it'll, hopefully, when the UI comes out, it'll be worth, it'll be what you're looking for in a UI experience on a console. All right. Uh, next, uh, Shigeru Miyamoto said that Pikmin 4 is nearly complete, and that it's due to, you know, it's announced now. And it's weird that they're announcing it so late when it's nearly finished. So I'm thinking it's going to come out around early 2016. Is it, I don't think it's coming out this year because that, uh, there's too much stuff coming out this year. Is that really weird? Like when you consider like Fallout 4. Uh, Fallout 4, it's, it's been announced, well, yeah, I guess. But there's a lot of companies that announce the game way before it's finished, like uh, Black Ops 3. It has this, Call of Duty has well, this yearly cycle of like three months after the game comes out or until after the first DLC well, drops, that, that, then they reveal the game. A lot of games because, reveal the stuff before it's finished. That's because it's expected. It's not like fucking Vondahar is hiding in a fucking bush like... Three yeah, months before the Call of Duty game comes that... out, and he's like, "Guess what? A game's coming out, and everyone's all scared." We know, we <laughs> expect it. We know what's coming out. So, but I mean, there's lots of other games it. that do it too. Like Battlefront was announced way before it was finished. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I think there should be a nice little. 
you're going to build hype, so it's good to build hype close up to the actual release date. I think that's what it's just weird for did. Nintendo to do it when they're uh, when they're part of the big three. They're part of the big three, so that for them to announce a uh, game finishing so lately, well, a game being announced just as it's being finished, is a little weird, because consider like uh, Zelda. They announced Zelda last year. They announced yeah. uh, Mario Kart and Mario Party, and those are yearly releases, and they announce their games way before they're actually finished. Well, I mean, it's I just don't know. That, weird is, that actually is weird, actually, when I think about and, it. And uh, there's going to be a new iPhone, new iPhone 6S. I'm not going to oh. give you guys the specs, because if you buy an iPhone, you probably don't care about specs anyway. You just, care you just about want an your... iPhone because it's an iPhone. You care about impressing that freaking bitch at freaking that works at work at McDonald's. Whoa. You and your phone that bends 45 degrees from sitting in your pocket. I'm sorry. I'm me. sorry. If you work at McDonald's with a bitch, I apologize. If you want a durable phone <laughs> or a phone with good specs, buy Android or not iPhone. <laughs> buy a buy a freaking uh, a Microsoft phone. Yeah, because those you'll are gonna be, last. You'll be like one of the five people in the world with one. You're gonna be you're gonna be a hipster. You're gonna just your thick horn rim glasses and your scarf, holding your for... Windows phone, <laughs> sipping from that heard of coffee from like a place that nobody's oh, heard of. Oh man, that's great. Uh, Listening so... to your indie music where it's like dudes wearing suits, uh, I'm starting to get offensive to the uh, hipster community. I can feel it. Guys wearing suits and a fucking typhoon, and there's like a beam of light shining from the sky, and they're being and they're all by looking aliens. off in like different directions while one's like looking off into the ocean. There's one guy staring <laughs> at his feet. Man, that is a really vivid image. There's a guy. Yeah, that, there's like a that fucking, screamed indie to me. It's like, like five fucking, dudes on a beach, all looking in different directions. One staring like, at his feet, one off into the ocean. They're all and they're all wearing sunglasses, and one has an accordion. <laughs> that sounds more like a weird Al cover. It does. Oh well, that's <laughs> all right. That uh, was some exposition. That, <laughs> we that was uh, for quite days. a bit of stuff for just a new iPhone. And, I was trying to make that short by not talking about the specs. And the boat is slowly being sucked into the mouth of the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. more like a metal album. But uh, Panda, you might actually be excited about this one. A Pokemon game has been announced for iOS and Android. Oh, shit. An actual Pokemon game. Not like Pokemon Shuffle or Pokemon Puzzle League or whatever. Pokemon, Pokemon trading card game. Can't forget Pokemon Rumble. It's called Pokemon, game, uh, Pokemon Go, and you'll be able to catch Pokemon using real-life destinations. And you can train <laughs> no and battle way. them. Dude, that's fucking awesome. So you're telling that's, me I can go... I can it's go like to... Pokemon VR. Pokemon means, uh, Rift Edition. <laughs> does that mean I can go to the lesbian coven down the street and catch oh like my a Vulpex God. or something? Like, really? Jinx. Why do you, Just go what? to the lesbian bar and pick up a Jinx. What? Why did she have to have such Jinx, specify? Jinx. Dude, Whoa. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm giving, <laughs> you have a lesbian I'm giving coven? locales close to my <laughs> position. Yeah, lesbian you have coven. A, that's awesome. No, it's not. I'm not allowed. <laughs> you, you of course you're not allowed. You're not allowed either, Panda, so why do you think it's awesome? Because also, you couldn't get so... into a bar right now anyway. I support lesbians. Well, I, mean, I support gay people in general just by being gay. I mean, at least me and straight girls have something in common. <laughs> you're not allowed. <laughs> oh my you god. Think, you would think you gotta... me, me and a gay woman would have something in common, but we really don't. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, funny as shit. The Pokemon Go is really... also gonna have oh, a watch <laughs> available for it, so that it uh, picks up your real life movements to translate it to the app. Dude, this so is like what some I'm Google thinking, Glass shit. Yeah. Awesome. So what I'm thinking is, is that it's gonna go on your wrist, and to catch a Pokemon, you gotta actually do the motion to throw a Pokeball. Oh my god, it's so oh. awesome, dude. I'm awesome. You look so, so weird in public doing that. <laughs> I don't, give I don't a shit. even fucking Pokemon care. Go. I would have you like. Can, you do it and you say, oh, I'm catching Pokemon, and they'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Can I get a look at that? I no one's going to make fun like, of you for that. Everyone loves Pokemon. I would be wearing a trainer outfit, and fucking every time I get in a Pokeball, <laughs> I'll turn up like my Ace ball trainer. cap. 
Yeah, exactly. I'll turn my ball cap backwards and be like, gotta catch them all, oh, Pikachu. Pokemon! <laughs> oh, man, that's yeah, so good. Yeah, I mean, I'll totally get it. I don't care how much it costs. And it I'll... turns out you really have to Give travel all over the world to catch all the Pokemon. <laughs> like, you have to go to Japan for, like, Pikachu and shit like that. Oh, my God, that would be awesome. But they're no going to have, you know, they're going to have, like, exclusive events and stuff like that where you're only going to be able to get Pokemon by going to these things, like the uh, shiny events or the uh, GameStop giveaways where you actually have yeah. to go into GameStop to get the Dude, Pokemon. Dude, that's so awesome. They're totally going to have that. It's going to be so cool. It's, it's like a tall grass at a park. It's going to be like playing Pokemon on the Oculus Rift. <laughs> Except, oh man, that's gonna be great. I'm gonna be walking oh, through traffic uh, trying to catch a pigeon. Remember how I pitchy. said last week Konami couldn't go a week without getting in our news? Well, just as that one ended, and 30 minutes after our podcast was done recording, Konami made another fuck up. Oh man, they couldn't. Right. They couldn't wait for us to post the video. Even they just started up again. They give us. They give us another fucking excuse to say fuck. Just Konami. our bucket of fucking of fuck Konamis. Oh man, KFC, fucking on. So, you guys curious what they did this time? I'm actually. <laughs> I don't know. They, it's gonna be hard. To someone come up on that Twitter thing. posted fan art. Oh, I'm already telling. You. And Konami filed for a copyright takedown, and took the image down, of fan art. Okay, what was the fan? Don't art tell depicting? them Deviant Art exists. I don't know what it was depicting because it was taken down so quickly. That's stupid. Why? Because copyright That's and Konami's so assholes. They don't want to be video game developers anymore. Like, what harm does a person's fan art do to your image? From what I hear, there was nothing particularly wrong with it. It wasn't besmirching the company or anything like that. Oh, also, uh, some fans have been putting Hideo Kojima's name onto the box art when uh, turning their games back in. <laughs> That's so uh, awesome. Yeah, fight, Those guys fight the power. Cool. Fuck, row, row, fuck fight the power. Me. Let's do that. <laughs> That's awesome. I would do that shit. I want to buy a copy of the game just to do that and then turn it back in. <laughs> oh, that's great. And uh, my last bit of news... Well, this person's becoming as popular in our show as Konami is, but he's being popular for fame, not for infamy. PewDiePie has hit 10 billion page views. Oh, God. He is the wow. first person on YouTube to hit 10 billion page views. That's more people. That's more views than our people on the planet, I'm pretty fucking sure. That's, that's pretty much... Yeah, that's... Uh, I think the planet I is think 3 billion. Like, I thought it was like 8. Point, I don't know. It's a fucking huge number. No, there's like 3 billion just in the United States, if I remember correctly. No, it's uh, it's it's 3 million in the U.S. Uh, I yeah. remember uh, a few years ago when the uh, 3 millionth person was born. Uh, whatever. It's, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Pages? Good for him. But uh, I wouldn't be able to make it that far. Honestly, I'm going to be r real fucking Josh for you guys again. If I get super popular, the pressure will fucking kill me. I'd have to uh, like get a bunch of people to work on the page with me. I'd probably quit if I had to do it all alone like he does. He's the real OG. Crazy, Good for him, dude. Felix. Good for you, Felix. Felix You've earned it. OG. Felix Kajelberg. Kajelberg. Zoidberg. Felix Zoidberg. Who likes the oh, rework? Uh, we got on a new Aggie's title, Felix Zoidberg. It looks pretty nice. I like it. Okay, so what about you, Panda? What's your news for today? My news for okay, today. Can you do it without vomiting? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, like, three days ago, uh, Matthew Santoro's ex girlfriend now. That's she the guy that does the top tens on YouTube, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. He's basically that, you know, uh, the bald yeah. guy. Yeah. 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 I actually watch his stuff. He's pretty nice, but uh, his uh, ex girlfriend. Dude needs to calm down a little bit. He's hyper, hyper, more hyper than PewDiePie. That panda talk shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he posted. She posted a video. Not he. She posted a video of. Hold on. Okay. Ooh. 
She posted a video of sorry, I talking to your mom. You have to edit yeah, that out. Up, you up. don't want yeah, to. Nah, I'm not in that out. To his mom. <laughs> he's talking <laughs> to his mommy. The, the, the oh, real panda. So the real panda. So I'm keeping cute. it real. Anyway, fuck yeah, I'm getting on to my story. She posted a video <laughs> basically saying she hates fat people in general. Okay. And and well, she's uh, living in the you, wrong country. <laughs> famous people like Boogie Two Nine Number Number. Oh, two nine eight eight. Yeah. Yeah. He he wrote he replied it saying that he forgives her for her her stance opinion on it, but he wished that he, her opinion wasn't that. Well, of course. And and Matthew has been getting a decent amount of hate for this just because he's acquainted with her. It's his it's his ex girlfriend's opinion. It's not his opinion. I don't. I don't know. He's a scene together. They're just I guess. choosing to target him because he's the more popular one. This is common, and it happens with celebrities all the time. Like nobody bothers the unpopular version of the uh, of the unpopular one of the couple. They always bug the uh, famous one. Uh, that's really like people make fun of Sarah Jessica Parker. They don't make fun of Matthew uh, Broderick. <laughs> that's I don't even know what who I, that is. So. What I'm saying, Matthew is Broderick, a... uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Okay. More like his day on, if you know what I'm saying. No, okay, no Sly, Family Guy you, references. What are you, you, 12? Go on, Sly. Go on, Sly. <laughs> oh, well, wait. Well, oh, yeah. I've told you this. I've told you. Uh, uh, I've heard about the story because Panda told me before we started recording. And I just uh, wanted to say that me, that, that chick and my ass would not get along because, you oh know, my God. that thing's <laughs> fat. Mm. I'm sorry. P-H-A-T. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, with like three A's. And I don't two understand how Fat. you can chastise. No, seriously though, I don't see how you can chastise an entire group of people as it's kinda... like one collective. It's st- I. Mm, it's like me saying I it's, don't like. It's stereotyping it's like, and stuff like that. It's, exactly. just, it's hating the entire group. Like the majority of you who are obese and overweight, I'm I'm overweight myself. I weigh two forty. Cry. Like, yeah, but I hide it well. I've got a big butt. Um, the more <laughs> yeah, you know. The, the more you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I've tried losing weight and stuff like that. It's not actually that bad. It's just if you're spending like hours in front of the computer. Uh, like every 50 minutes, get up and should like walk around for like five minutes, and that'll actually improve your metabolism, and that'll help you lose some weight too. That's why I like do. I'm, After every uh, game, just lay off the sweets. Like go for protein. I'm more of a savory person myself anyway, so I eat a ton of protein. I eat meats and stuff like that. Mm. But it's really hard to. It really is hard to lose weight. But it's just effort. And the thing is, is once you guys start doing it, and once you get past the part of the pain and the unenjoyable part of it, once you get past that, it works like an antidepressant on its own. It automatically just improves your outlook on things. Like, there's been days where I walked for a couple of hours, and I got back, and I felt great. I didn't feel like, oh, I just walked, like, three miles. I felt like I'm... I really feel good about myself, and that's a lot for me because uh, I have depression issues. I would say that that wouldn't work for everyone because it no. doesn't work. That might work for some people. I, it hardly and works for me. I've got knee problems. What I'm saying is, is I don't understand how you can tell anyone you can hate any one group of people for, like, why. For instance, let's t- let's Jim Sterling, real quick. He's talked before. He's overweight. He said, oh, of course he's overweight. I mean, you can see the guy. I know. <laughs> but he's happy. He appears to be happy. He's even said multiple on multiple occasions that he doesn't plan on losing weight because why? He loves food too much. And that's fine. That's his prerogative, <laughs> and obviously he enjoys it. If that's he's, his he's in the choice, right country to have all the shit food he wants. It's, it, it, he, he lives in Mississippi, or he lives down here I know. somewhere. It's I know. He awesome, lives in the right? U.S. I know. I thought he's he like in lived in the U.K. up until like a month ago. No, 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 he's from the U.K., but he lives in Mississippi. That's fucking awesome. I'm going to go see that guy. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's fucking like if it's that person's life choice and it does not affect you in any way, if it doesn't physically harm you or emotionally harm you, 
then then it, mind your own fucking business. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it doesn't harm you, then it's not bad. That's my that's my thing. I don't mind anything as long as it doesn't hurt me in any way. I don't mind it. You can. What you pisses can me off though is overweight people taking up the uh, electric scooters in uh, grocery stores. God. Yeah. Man. I I Robbie's disabled, one. and sometimes he needs those, and he can't get them because pe- because fat people are using them. People that don't ne- necessarily have the problem, other than laziness. But Robbie has seizures and stuff like that, and sometimes he just doesn't have the energy to be able to walk. But I mean, what is he going to do? Not buy groceries? Well, I mean, it's going it to could... be not buy groceries now because you guys are taking up the rascals from people that actually need them. I mean, it could go down that. She was raised to have a certain point of view on those set of people. So yeah, sad. your opinion isn't created by yourself. Your opinion is created by your surroundings. It's if you're so bigoted or anything like that, it's it's the outside influences that affect you. It's the in groups and the out groups. Yeah, no, yeah, it's totally that because I'm you a can change, Christian though. loving, family hating. <laughs> I, I'm that type of Everyone person. Everyone ends up I'll differently. Someone could be oh abused for their entire life by a person and fall in love with that person while the other wants to kill him in his sleep. It's, it's all a part of... It's it's a part of psychology. that Everyone reacts differently to the same set of situations. So, yeah, your, uh, the, the, your environment does affect your growth. Well, it doesn't matter about your environment. This should be a golden rule. If it doesn't affect you, then it's not a ba- it's not bad. If you feel like you're being an asshole by saying it, you should probably not say it. Well, that's not fair because a lot of people can say a lot of shit and not feel like an asshole because they're an asshole. Well, assholes I know I'm don't an feel asshole bad about something. being assholes. Anyway, yeah, yeah, that's still stupid. There's no reason to ever brand hate for an entire group of people. Because first off, that's un that's no, you don't do Let's that. Let's just that's, look at this the other way though. Like do. it's not so black and white. I mean, we talk about tolerance and stuff like that on their show all the time, but there are some groups of people that do deserve the way they're treated. But we don't look at that because those are specific individuals. Like as a whole, you probably shouldn't be a racist asshole or um, sexist or anything like that. But stereotypes are founded on some truths. Like, if it didn't happen so frequently, people wouldn't believe it as a stereotype. So if you don't want people to believe in stereotypes, you can start by changing. And it's still just ignorant to believe that... It's it's ignorant to believe in stereotype. It really is. Like the flaming gay stereotype. You know that was based on some truth. Yeah, but am I a flame? Am I a flaming gay? Am I fucking? No, that's because we've grown past flamboyant. that kind of thing. But I mean, like back during the day when San Francisco was still listed as the gayest city in the U.S., I mean there there was the gay pride parades and stuff like that, assless chaps and shit like that. That's where the stereotype flaming gay comes from. All stereotypes are based on some truth, as the you know white straight male see it, because that's where a lot of stereotypes come from. As from the oh majority. My God. Well, you know, we've gone from gaming to assless chaps, so that's exactly what <laughs> I you think can that expect. covers the week pretty well. You can expect that from booty salad. Um, <laughs> the assless you... chaps are the bull, and the ass is, well, the booty, the booty yeah, salad. The booty salad. Mm, delicious. So. All right, so that covered gaming and real life news all at once. Yeah, that was some pretty good stuff. Man, and we only crazy. reached 29 minutes. You guys, this is like the shortest one we've done. Is it really? God. Yeah, 29 sucks. minutes. It feels. Well, it, I feel like why does that suck? Talking more. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, we could have like cut the fat on that last section and had well, like it would have been additional longer. 10 minutes. Remember, this is our second take, so we're kind of exhausted yeah, from that first. Yeah, the take. Deus Ex thing was the Deus Ex thing was a lot longer originally. Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily it isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think we still touched on the key points while still keeping it leaner. Well, we got a little extra time now. Uh, so, what have you guys been doing this week as for like gaming and stuff? Well, I'm on a team. Yeah, he's on a smite team. Yeah, Panda's yeah, on a smite let team. Let me mark down my words. He's leaving us to play. With no, the smite I'm not. Team. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Panda, you know you love us, right? <laughs> 
I want, I want I do. proof. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, what? What? You'll never. Does, you'll is never. this gonna turn out like Call of Duty, where you <laughs> wouldn't play with anyone except your team? Yeah. What? What? Oh no, that's not. Like me. I tried to play with you several times in Advanced Warfare, but you were always like playing with your friends, and you wouldn't let I'm me playing, join. Playing with the fam. Oh his, my god! His, his, are uh, you, are you Star Wars right now? His I think that's what we're worried fans. about most, though. Is that no? I'm not by playing about with it. them. Not, you're not going to play with that. us. No, that's, I'm not worried about that. I know Panda. Panda's I've been supportive swag. of it so far, but I have like my we're, own few let's, reservations. Let's, don't, give, don't give him shit about it. It's fine. We <laughs> both know Panda loves us. We love Panda. It'll be fine. He'll stick around. I have, I'm not, not going we'll away. Have, I pinky he, swear. It's fine. If he leaves, we get we'll uh, get rights. Well, you answer. have to keep it now because you just promised the audience of 15 people who watch us. All right, and pinky you, swear I will stay with them. And if I'm he leaves, if he doesn't away. play with us weekly at least. Uh, we get the we get the rights of Adrian. He can't visit. <laughs> <him. laughs> you can see him every other weekend. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting divorced from you, Panda. <laughs> you start paying alimony. <laughs> Fucking straight oh. savage. So, Dude, that was so funny. They don't oh, know what we're talking about, but that's yeah, they don't show. get it. Uh, what I have, what have I been doing? Man, I've have I have so much to talk about. Oh, one, one quick thing while we're on the uh, while we're on the podcast still, Panda. If it ever appears that you will not be able to show up on the same day as the podcast recording day, then I'm going to switch okay. you out. Not indefinitely, okay. but for that day. But he'll okay. be here. He'll Who knows? Here we'll mix it up. Maybe I'll get oh, a black guy on here. I will black guy. turn to like bend my schedule around the podcast. Good. All right. Well, that's be. good. That's what so, I wanted because I want to you know, tell you guys you about something. This before. I want to tell I you know, guys about something that happened to me at work. So right. I was working. Uh, working you actually Walker got a tip house. from those old people. Oh, yeah. did I tell you about that? Yeah. I get no. Like, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, no. There's we have one of my usuals. Uh, they always come to my section, and it's a grandmother, a grandfather, and uh, their son, or the grandson rather. And they tip really well, and it's cool because the grandfather he uh, used to serve he served in Vietnam, and mm-hmm. he has all of these really cool stories. So it's really awesome because he always has something to talk about when I serve him. So it's really cool, and it sucks because my supervisor has to fucking break my attention. Like I've never like met a Vietnam War vet that wasn't you know mentally unstable. To some no, he's point. A, he's a really cool guy. He really is. Uh, at least well, I used to I've work seen. at like an old folks' home and uh, retirement centers and stuff like that. So I've oh, met a lot of uh, war vets that aren't stable. This isn't they went about through them, some though. shit. This isn't. A, I've seen some stuff, man, and some things. I wouldn't recommend it. But no, I'm not. This isn't about him. I was uh, serving uh, coffee, and this guy looked at me and says, "Do I know you from somewhere?" And I said, uh, "Maybe." He's like, "Do you do a podcast?" And I was nah. like, "Yeah." And then, and then he was like. And then he was like, booty salad? And I'm like, yeah. And no, you're like, full of never... shit. You're <laughs> lying. Yeah, i lying. <laughs> you're lying. Yeah, Nobody fucking lying. knows us. He's you're like, not going to get recognized salad? with only you're 15 on, viewers. You're on booty salad? I was like, yeah. He's like, I've never heard of you. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, he pointed out, he recognized my All voice. All right, we'll just go back to where, where the bottom feeder fish. We'll just, we'll just go back to the bottom of the tank now. Yeah, we're, we're sorry. Is we're sorry. We came to light. That's a lie. I, I didn't uh, actually. Yeah, it was no obvious. No one's gonna fucking lie. Rec- No one's gonna. No one's gonna recognize us at 15 views a week. <laughs> fucking play the. You know, like so five well. of those views are me to make sure that to you know get links and stuff. Oh man, nice. that's great. Uh, I like. I started after when we hit the double digits, like 10 followers. I started uh googling myself to see if i was popular <laughs> um i've actually googled up my gamer tag and the only shit that pops up is me and some indian guy yeah, well, I've, but I've it's like my... 50 of my posts to his one post so uh rajib i can't remember your name all the way uh fuck you more famous <laughs> i switched my gamer tag and it brings up runescape shit because i've accomplished way more on runescape than i have on xbox i guess <laughs> Oh, there you go. There's a little side project. Uh, you guys watching, uh, Google yourselves and see what you're most famous for. And if you uh, care to share, bring it in. Bring it down in the comments. I'm waiting. And like, don't forget to like, hit... comment, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe. I can't wait until we hit 20 viewers weekly, because then the Fine Brothers might do a blank reacts to <laughs> booty salad. 
And then we can make a react section where we react Booty to people salad react to where we act <laughs> Booty Salad or... react to Fine Brothers reacting to Booty Salad. <laughs> That'd be crazy. That would be great. Uh, I would love I, to do uh, something like that. that. That's not going to happen because we're just, you know, we're small. Whatever. I, th- I hope I, I we still... get there one day, but if we don't, whatever. It's fine. I just like this doing the podcast. Fun. Yeah. It's an archive of our, you know, endeavors Emotions. and friendship and shit. Shut up, Pen. <laughs> See, anyway, slice yeah. angry right now. No, now we got no, that for no. memory. And oh, what have I been that. doing for the past week? Uh, yeah. I got re- really That's got great. into Neverwinter online for the uh, Xbox One. But uh, like you guys, you guys know about this. But uh, pretty much, I don't do anything besides playing video games. Masturbate. Oh well, yeah, that too. I mean, that goes without saying. <laughs> I don't do anything besides playing video games and taking care of Robbie. Robbie's my first job. Oh, that's that's right. Uh, I I was supposed to use uh, YouTube Gaming for a week, and my internet got to the point where every hour it cuts out on the computer for about five to ten minutes at a time. But it doesn't do this on the Xbox. Nice. So I haven't been streaming for about a week, and I'm probably not going to do it until I can get to my own place where I've got my own internet that I can do. This won't affect the podcast or anything like that. I'll still be, we'll still be doing that every week as long as everybody shows up. Panda. But yeah, I won't be streaming anymore, and I might not be making regular content on YouTube anymore. But uh, sad. The Mario Maker is coming out tomorrow, so we'll do some stuff on that. But, uh, oh, yeah, that's, that's the big news for me for the week is that uh, I did use YouTube Gaming, and it's pretty much Twitch. Like, I used it quite a bit for the day that I did do it. I streamed for, like, 12 hours of uh, Black Ops 3. And, yeah, it's no different than Twitch. Well, I guess that covers everything uh, news-wise and personal life. What about BoobTube? Do we have anything to recommend? Well, nope. I've got something very funny. Oh. You've seen some Japanese commercials, right? Japanese commercials are always crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I saw an American made Japanese commercial. <laughs> and you won't believe what company made it. It's a Konami. No, that's not an American company. Bungie. What really? What? Yep, they made a Japanese commercial for Destiny the Taken King. Uh huh. Was it? And it's this dude and I assume his girlfriend. There's no subtitles in it, and they're speaking Japanese. And it's this dude and his girlfriend in a small corner washing machine store where it's like uh, three washing machines in a very small room, and that's it. They're chilling in there talking. And then this dude comes in wearing a uh, hunter outfit because everyone only plays hunters. Hunter is the best. He walks in wearing a hunter outfit. He takes off the helmet, and I think it's the same guy as the guy who's in the washing machine. And he's yelling in very loud Japanese at himself and (laughs) shaking washing machine and yelling into washing machine. Just very loud, shaking everything, yelling into a washing machine. And then he hands him a game. He yells for a little bit longer, and then it ends. I have no idea what went on, but I I haven't laughed that hard this entire week up until that. But oh, God. there's oh like my God. is there a part where he just like grabs he pushes he he claps he claps his shoulders and he screams into his face Bunji! <laughs> and little rockets come popping out from his feet and he launches through the roof into space eating a bowl of ramen. Because oh, that's God. that's what I've gathered from every other Japanese commercial I've seen. And then there's like a ray of light that shines from space onto a boat that's getting eaten by a crack. And then there's guys. And he also handed them a, a each a copy of the game, and they oh. stared at it, and they were like, "Sugoi, Sugoi." And then it ended. <laughs> <laughs> Sugoi, if you don't know, means awesome. That's. Uh... I thought it meant good. Fuck. Well, it means uh, awe-inspiring, so awesome or cool. Well, me personally, I have no videos to recommend. Uh, I still recommend you watch the MLG Godzilla Dropkick Guide if you <laughs> haven't watched that already. I forgot it's, to link it for the last video. It's still just as funny today as it was. 
you know, then. Um, oh, and if you don't speak Japanese, uh, there's an English Destiny Taking King commercial. It's not related to that one at all. It's live action. And you guys have seen other Bungie live action commercials. They're always really, really good. But uh, it's a Titan, a Hunter, and a Warlock, and they're walking to Oryx, and they're talking about Oryx. And he's like, so you killed his son, right? And he's like, yeah, but I mean, he can't hold a grudge, can he? And he gets there, and um, he starts beating the crap out of these uh, dark things, and they're splitting into multiples. And he says, uh, he says, great. Now I'll never remember any of your names. <laughs> and he's and the one-liners in that are like so. Yeah, I haven't seen good one-liners in a movie since like Predator. I'll be back. Like, there's no good one-liners in movies anymore. It's always something stupid, like, he shoots the dude in the face, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> there's no just good one-liners in revoked. movies anymore. But yeah, it's just been revoked. That's a good um, one-liner, though, so I'm not going to give Leaf the Have shit. you ever seen CSI Miami and you haven't seen it? Why? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, they have good like, one liners. Yeah, those those are hilarious. Yeah. Like, Everyone makes this, one of those. There's this but one I'm... CSI Miami episode where this guy he dies because he stopped his uh car on the tracks of a train and basically they show up at the scene and the guy asks him he asks the detectives like, Why do you think he was trying to beat the train? And then he says, To get to the other side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> but it instantly makes anything stupid funny. The yeah, yeah. so stupid. Dude. Oh my god, that was right. wrong. That is the funny. Oh my god, I want to watch CSI. I just want to watch the first five minutes right now of every episode. <laughs> yeah, that's. I've like watched entire episodes of CSI, and like the only good parts are the first five minutes. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. Yeah! <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I think that's the natural conclusion oh, uh, to the if, podcast, unless there's something else if Panda, Well, if Panda gets uh, the Taken King this week, and we get some playtime okay. on that, the next next week's episode will be the Destiny episode. Oh, yeah. Okay, then that's good. I have a bunch of shit to talk about that. And I was thinking, would you guys be willing to do another series? Do you got time for it? Not today, but right. like another weekly series. I was thinking about calling it Franchise Fatigue, where we get together and we talk about video game franchises. Is, like, what? What? We're time. We'll, we'll talk about this off stream. Well, you'd have to talk about it off stream, but yeah, I'd like to do. Uh, I'd like to do something like that, just uh, extra content, because with how YouTube's algorithm works, if, if we're not posting weekly content, then we get something called subscriber burn, which makes it so oh, our videos yeah. don't appear on people's subscriber lists. Yeah, I've seen that. I've heard about that. So we need to post like one more additional video a week. Well, okay. we'll talk about I'll, that. We'll, we'll I'll see. see. Yeah, we get. We'll see what we can do. All right, but uh, well. As as usual, I'm Raunchy Ram. And my name is Pandas. And my name is Sly, and this has been Booty Salad. We'll see you next Love time. Love you. Love you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like, I'm subscribe.